The digital revolution has changed our world. As the technology frontier continues to advance, it opens new possibilities and ends previous ones. How will intelligent tools such as robotics and platforms shape the future? How will our employment change? Will robots take over the workforce? Join us as we hear from UC Berkeley political science professor John Zeisman and UC Davis community and regional development professor Martin Kenny. The purpose of the article is to explore the consequences of the emergence and diffusion of intelligent tools for the economy and society. Uh, obviously, intelligent tools, really, we mean everything from AI and robotics on through platforms. Uh, the debate, uh, very openly, is whether these uh, tools will, in fact, generate uh, a dystopia, a uh, displacement of work and workers, or generate the new abundance of resources that allow a new kind of utopia. Uh, the question, we believe, really comes down to a set of choices that must be made. Uh, we really argue that we must proceed in a way that allows citizens in their multiple roles as uh, producers and workers and consumers to participate in shaping their future rather than just allowing it to happen to them. Today, there is much discussion about how intelligent tools might destroy work and create a crisis. But is that really the case? So I think one of the difficulties when we talk about intelligent tools is it's relatively easy to see the implications for these intelligent tools to work that we do today. What we can't see is work that's going to be created. There's new work being created, such as YouTubers, search engine optimization people, people that do your social media strategy at a firm. These are all new kinds of work that didn't exist 15 or 20 years ago. So both the intelligent tools will transform work but they also are likely to create new work. It's not a matter of whether there are robots coming, but how to direct the development and evolution of platforms and of intelligent tools uh, to the purposes uh, of the community and society. We use the term intelligent tools precisely because tools are instruments under the control of people rather than something which comes at them from outside. The important question is whether we view workers and people at work uh, as assets or simply as costs that need to be uh, displaced. Uh, it's a choice, a choice of the society, a choice of the companies in terms of how they seek competitive advantage uh, in the marketplace. While intelligent tools and platforms have produced huge growth in firms like Google, Salesforce, or Facebook, other firms seem to fall behind. There really is a wide spread of views on the consequences of these tools for productivity. There are many possible reasons for this lack of uh, productivity growth. One is, is it a more and more in each of these sectors we're seeing monopolies? There are other possibilities, possibilities that we don't even fully measure productivity. We may not be able to fully measure the value. As we think about productivity, are we even measuring productivity correctly today? Uh, particularly when we think of most of our productivity statistics actually were developed for a different, a completely different world, the industrial world, when today's world is the world of intelligent tools, the world of platforms, Google, Facebook, and Amazon. So I think we need to think about productivity perhaps in different ways. What is interesting is that the of massive availability of cloud, in the cloud of computing resources, lowers the barriers to entry, lowers the initial costs of applications dramatically. So for users, the barriers to entry go down. At the same time, for providers of cloud services, particularly those large-scale cloud services, the scale of provision goes up. Uh, so you end up with a tendency toward massive providers that dominate, and at the same time you have lowered costs of application. Uh, uh, that opened the door to a whole array of experiments. So in one sense, cloud is a commodity, but at the scale of an AWS or a Google, it's no longer a commodity, but a competitive advantage. Learn more in the next phase in the digital revolution. Intelligent tools, platforms, growth, employment. A contributed article in the February 2018 communications of the ACM.